Images are real effective ones in mobile applications, we need to handle images in many cases one such case is displaying the image in round shape. We will get used to this when we develop similar UI like user profile. Circle images are very handy in UI. Circular images in apps are currently a popular trend in mobile, and it is a simple technique that can add a lot of polish to your mobile apps. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin form circle image in XAML. 2. Add NuGet package for circle image. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. After you create your project, Go to your NuGet package manager and install plugins for image circles. Go to browse and search for xam.plugins.forms.imagecircle. Make sure you are connected to the internet. This plugin is a custom control for your Xamarin Forms project to turn your images into elegant circle images with customizable border thickness and color. Install this to your project. Once the plugins are installed, let's use our plugins on our main page. First, we need to add an XML namespace declaration because we want to use a type or an element that defines somewhere else. Here, we give it a prefix name. Let's call it CI. After inputting the quotation, the IDE will give suggestions on what namespace we might need. And the one we need to add is these plugins, where the namespace and assembly for image circle are defined. Then, we can now add an image and make it a circle. Now, there are few properties we need to set here. And these are the requirements by circle image. We need to set the width request, and I'm gonna set it to 150. This is just an arbitrary number, it doesn't matter what you used. But what matters is that you use the same value for height requests. Next, we need to set the aspect property to aspect fill. Then, we set the source. Here you can use a URI, an embed image, or a local file. For simplicity, I'm gonna use a URI. Let's run the app. This is now the final output of the program. We can also modify some of its properties like border thickness and border color. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!